Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're looking at Luke chapter 1, and specifically we're looking at the divine song that Mary was singing as she proclaimed the goodness of God and the great news that she had heard that as a virgin she would be able to be the one that would bring the Messiah into the world. And she's sharing this with Elizabeth, and as she does, even joy, uh, even John is leaping in his mother's womb for joy. Now, we have been talking about the kind of joy that's divine joy that Mary was proclaiming here. It was a spiritual joy because her spirit rejoiced. It was a joy in God. She rejoiced in God, and we can do the same. It was the joy of her salvation. She rejoiced in the God who was my Savior. I love that. In verse 47, it was praiseful joy because she says, my soul doth magnify the Lord. Something welled up from deep within because of the Spirit of God working within her. Her soul magnified the Lord, all her being, her heart, all her being. It was grateful joy we talked about yesterday. Why? Because she said he regarded the lowest state of her his handmaid and she recognized that she didn't deserve what she was getting now today we're going to talk about verse 48 for behold from henceforth all generations will call me blessed the generations to come for generation this happened 2000 years ago and yet even today we think of the blessed mother of Jesus Mary yes we call her blessed why she had the privilege of bringing forth the man child the god child into the world now my friends I- i'm thinking about the fact that you and i have a responsibility as we as believers have the holy spirit of god christ himself living within us our bodies the temple of god just like mary's womb was the temple of the child jesus our bodies today as believers bear literally within us Jesus Christ, Christ in you, the hope of glory that tell, the scripture tells us. Now, that being the case, we should be leaving a heritage. We should be leaving a testimony, a witness in such a way to our children, our grandchildren, and generations to come that they will say, wow, my granddaddy, my great granddaddy, my great, 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 great grandma, man, what a blessing she was to her family and even to us as we think of her life and her story and how she trusted God through tough and difficult times. Oh man, it it gives me hope. It gives me hope. Matter of fact, that makes me think of several verses in Proverbs 13 verse uh, uh, chapter 13 verse uh, 22 a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children a good man a good woman we think of the proverbs 31 woman that uh, does such a wonderful job with her family and her husband her children will rise up and call her blessed in verse 30 28 her husband also and he praises her many daughters have done well but you excel them all charm is be- deceitful beauty is passing but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. And then in Psalm chapter 78, this psalmist is saying, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. And then he says, I'm going to share things that I've heard. And where did I hear them? We heard them and they were known because our fathers have told us in verse 3. We will not hide them from their children, telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and His strength and His hopeful works that He has done. For He has established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Jacob, in Israel, which He commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might know them, the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children. Why? verse 7 look at this that they may set their hope in God and not forget the works of God but keep his commandments well that's what has happened to the world because of Mary and her faith and her belief when the angel gave her the message she believed what she was told when we believe God's word we live out God's word and we live in a life that tells the world that there's something different about us our children see it they tell their children they tell their children they tell their children and then they set their hope in God. They find a great future. They find hope in God because He did such great things
things for their parents and grandparents and great-grandparents. Oh, let's make sure we do that too. God bless you. I trust you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day.